G'day cunts! Welcome to episode 17, I think. <laughs> yeah, 17. Of The Greencast, a podcast by me, Mr. Greentex, in which I ramble to myself into my bedroom like a fucking madman. Occasionally I'm joined by other people. Uh, this week is not one of those weeks. It's just a solid buddy this week. Um, don't know how this long, how long this podcast is going to be uh, this week, because I've got a lot of shit to do. I'm actually on a... Uh, film shoot uh tonight uh it's for a short film can't say what and i can't say by who because i've got ndas and all that sort of shit um i did stalk his imdb he's got a couple of award-winning shorts and that sort of stuff uh it's a horror film um but the hours are just absolutely fucked (laughs) um it's about an hour away from me uh about 70 kilometers don't know what that is in uh uh retarded person terms you can do your own fucking conversions cunt (laughs) <laughs> but um, I have to be there at 4pm, and then rap is at 3am, so yeah, <laughs> 11 hours I'm on this fucking shoot for, uh, and I don't think I'm even really getting paid, um, I'm getting travel expenses, so that's the only thing, because I'm like, hey dude, I'm fucking, I live like an hour away, that I actually, I can't do it unless you pay me at least travel expenses, so they're paying for a couple of tanks worth of fuel, which I'll fucking need, uh, using it, but half the reason why I accepted the whole thing in the first place, it's not even really a department that I really want to get into in the film industry, uh, I'm definitely trying to get into, like, the editing side of stuff, like, cut physically, well, I won't say, well, it's not physically anymore, it hasn't been for, <laughs> it hasn't been for, like, 20 years, uh, cutting up films, so actually assembling stuff in, like, your editing software and whatever the fuck, um, and as well as, like, prop making, as you guys already know. Like, I already have a couple 3D printers, and uh, I've been 3D printing a bunch of shit. But, on this shoot, I'm a lighting assistant, so I'm basically just helping uh, setting up the uh, lighting situations for all this stuff. Uh, we're actually shooting at a... Uh, I don't know if I can say Oh, whatever, I suppose I can. Uh, shooting at a bus depot uh, with this horror film. And, uh, there's, I think this short's probably about 13 or 14 minutes-ish, and it's going to be shot over four days? Three days. Yeah, so I'm on it. <sighs> oh, I'm also pretty sick as well, if you couldn't already fucking realise. <laughs> uh, I'm on it tomorrow, tomorrow night, and then the night after that too. So three nights in a fucking row. Although Sunday night isn't going to be a fucked 3am finish, although thankfully. But yeah, I'm basically just been a lighting assistant. Because there's going to be a lot of, like, uh, shots to set up. And, you know, they just need an extra pair of hands to, like, help move shit. And keep it along going. And, uh, the whole reason I got it was because, um, I'm friends on Facebook with one of my, uh, film lecturers. Um, that I just seemed to buddy up with and, like, related a lot because he's pretty cool. And he seemed to do a lot of sort of stuff and he likes working with students. So I did him on Facebook and, you know, we follow our sort of shit. And then just one of his other friends that he knows in the industry, he's like... Uh, he put out a thing on Facebook saying, hey, I need need some help or any hands. And then my film lecturer just, like, tagged, like, me and two other mates. And then the two other mates, uh, one couldn't do it because he's already on something else. And the other one just straight up, like, moved uh, towns not too long ago because he got another, uh, he got offered a job and he took it. He just had to move uh, up to Townsville because he also lived in uh, Brisbane like me. Oh, no, he, uh, yeah, he lives in Brisbane. That's close enough. Um... So I'm like, yeah, fucking I'll do it. But then last week, or week before, I can't remember, uh, it got, like, called off last second a little bit uh, because of, like, rain and, uh, well, actually, I don't know. I don't know why I got called off. I don't know what I'm saying because I don't know. <laughs> I just said, yeah, it's called off. And uh, we'll be in touch. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's fucked that then. And then I got the email this week saying, hey, it's still on a thing. Uh, please send us your availability and I'm like yes <laughs> yes to my availability um don't know if I'm gonna stay to the full 3 a.m because I'd, I'd fucking I'm gonna leave at sundown and then get back at sunrise basically at this fucking point which is so fucked especially since I'm not paid but it'll also be nice on this shoot because this would be the I think probably the most professional set that I'm gonna have been on so far um there's going to be, like, professional, like, crafty, uh, which if you don't know of, like, uh, craft services, it's just, like, foods provided, which for a lot of, like, the student sort of stuff that I have is just, like, 
two or three cunts that are just in charge of food and just make sandwiches or just order a Subway platter, usually, or some shit like that. Or pizza. Pizza's usually the big one. <laughs> you get paid in pizza on your shoot. Um, so, you know, she's like, oh, send us your dietary requirements. And I'm like, ah, I've got none, so I should be fine. But yeah, that'd be nice. But also, on student shorts, for example, uh, because it's, you know, it's always unpaid mo majority of the time, um, you're wearing a lot of hats because you don't have a professional crew by any sort of means. So, for example, the graduation film that I worked on, the horror action short film, which is almost done at this point, um, I was the editor, I was the props master, I was the, uh, what was the other one? VFX guy, I was continuity, and I think something else too. Which, on... At all varying different stages, they all had their own different sorts of work. Like in pre-production, like I had my hands full doing like props and that sort of stuff, and stunt versions so they don't kill each other. So you got foam versions of the main weapon, and then during production, obviously working on continuity and making sure you know everything is where it should be. And there's you, you know how continuity is at this point, I assume. And then post-production, of course, like, I'm editing the fucking thing. <laughs> so, it's all varying stages of, like, a shit ton of work. Whereas this one is just, like, I'm only a lighting assistant. So I do, I'm do. i showing up on set, and the gaffer, who is in charge of actually lighting stuff, is just gonna say, hey, put this over here, put this over here, da -da -da, move this over here, <gasps> and that's my job. So it'd be nice, actually, you know, i would be able to relax a bit, because it's... That's not my shoot. I'm. It's not my fucking fault if it shits the bed or anything like that. It's not my problem. And there's just a lot more um, uh, weight lift off my lifted off my shoulders of just you know. It's, it's not my production, so. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. It's because yeah, it's not my not my fucking problem. And having the only one thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else have I been up to this week? Oh, fucking... I don't know if you guys knew about this service. Um, it's this website called Freelancer. It's basically a lot like Fiverr, if you've ever heard of that. Uh, basically, Freelancer is a thing where you can post up a, uh, like a temporary job listing thing, and then people can bid on it. And you can do anything from sorting out thousands of emails to 3D modeling to making a web page, any of that sort of, like, sort of shit. And I've used this, like, three or four times almost at this point. Because, although I do a lot of prop stuff and do a shit ton of 3D printing, I am garbage at 3D modeling stuff. Um, I did, I do have a fucking Certificate 3 in, uh, what is it, fucking media or some sort of shit? And I worked at a game studio for two years, but I'm garbage at modeling because I just didn't use the, uh, the skill afterwards. Like, I know some sort of basics about 3D modeling and vertices and poly counts and that sort of stuff. But a lot of it is just like, I've forgotten all the key co key commands. Key commands? Is that the word? Key shortcuts. That's the one. I've forgotten all the key shortcuts, so I'm, I, you know, I can load up, load up an image into it, but yeah, I fucking, I've, I've lost that skill because I just didn't use it. So, what I do now is I, uh, for Cable's Gun, for example, I needed, there was a, what was it? I think an X, XM203 grenade launcher attachment for, not sure what sort of gun, but a gun. And it's, well, it, well for Cable's gun, <laughs> it's just another grenade launcher that they've got attached on the side. And uh, usually with all the other, like, model parts for the gun, I track down sites like CG Trader, Turbo Squid, um, and some other websites where you can actually buy 3D models. And a lot of them I paid like 5 or 10 bucks for. I think I spent like 25 for uh, something else I can't remember. Just trying to get all the, the parts. Because a lot of it is um, pretty sort of standard guns and weapons and that sort of stuff. The only thing I'm having trouble with is the uh, the Tommy Gun stuck. Like, Tommy Gun stuck? Tommy Gun stock. Um, I haven't been able to find one that's exactly like the one in the film. So I'm probably going to replace that at some point. Um, but yeah, I needed that. And I'm like, fuck, I can't find it anywhere. So I posted a thing on Freelancer. And uh, people can bid on this fucking goddamn Discord. Piss off, cunt. Piss off, ghost. Piss off, ghost. Fucking let me just go on. Don't disturb. There we go. <laughs> um, 
Also, talking about freelancer, Jesus Christ, I immediately <laughs> got fucking put off. So yeah, I uh, put up the up listing, and almost within like not even missing a beat, I've fucking posted a listing. And by the time I'm refreshed it, people have already put in fucking bids. That's how popular this site is. And a lot of it is, majority is either people from China, Russia, or India. Where this is their fucking job. They just do uh, freelancing jobs off freelancer. And uh, you can put in your budget uh, as well. Like micro budget. I, th- I always put micro budget because I'm a fucking cheap cunt. Uh, and I put it for like 10 to 30 bucks, and people can put in like, I will do this for $25, but then you also get retards where, you know, you message them, and they put in a, they put in a bid for like 30 bucks, and you're like, hello, will you do this for $30, and he's like, I will do this for 50 and I'm like, why did you fucking bid then? And then he's like, bye, and I'm like, wow, okay, fucking, why did you, why did you bid if you're just gonna say, no, I will do it for this, I'm like, whatever, fuck you, cunt. So, and I think almost every time at this point, um, I've awarded it just from some cunt in India that doesn't know any better. And, uh, yeah, so I got the fucking grenade launcher model pretty quick, because it's pretty simple. All it really is is just, like, a big cylinder with, like, um, some sort of base plates that you attach to it, and they model the screws and that sort of stuff. And it came out pretty nice. It looks pretty good on the gun. But then also, I needed this specific fucking torch that goes on the gun, too. Which... It's a branded one, so of course there's no fucking models anywhere, but it's pretty complex too. It's like a triple torch thingy do do. Um, so I tracked down a bunch of photos, and then I did the same thing on Freelancer. And uh, yeah, I paid like 35 bucks, I think, to get this really complex modeled uh, torch. And, uh, you know, this is not expected for tips or anything, so I'm like, good job, thank you. I fucking dropped my bottle, give me one second. Uh, I'm like, yeah, thank you. Here's your money. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, I'm dying, and I'm gonna die fucking tonight. Fuck my life, cunt. Oh, I'm currently recording this on a Saturday. No, that's... Uh, Jesus, no, I'm not recording it on a Saturday. I'm currently recording this on a Friday. Because uh, I just want to get shit ahead of myself. I was hoping to film my uh, 50,000 subscriber video uh, before the end of this week too because at the moment it looks like i'm gonna hit 50k subs by the end of the week which is fucking amazing by the way cheers you bunch of cunts um just still really fucking weird the people that's watching my garbage to be honest <laughs> um but yeah i've got I, this it's basically i just need to go see like a friend and get something made uh for the video because uh, i got something special as well as some announcements to drop boy but, um, I'll give you one. <laughs> fucking, wow, whatever. Um, so, if, for the fucking, like, ten people that are constantly asking me for a Discord, um, I made a Discord, cunts, so you can fucking shut up about it already. <laughs> um, I'll put a link to the Discord in the description, you can join it, uh, it's called The Greenhouse, fucking, try not to be too cancerous in there, so far I've, uh, I've alerted some people from Twitter, and it's been pretty nice, because, you know, people from Twitter seem to be, like, alright, the all, all the people that follow me. Um, but the, I don't know. I guess genuine cancer in the YouTube comments is a lot more prevalent than would, uh, what would be on Discord anyway. And it's a lot easier to ban fucking retards on Discord anyway, so, you know, if you're gonna be a retard, I'll just fucking ax your cunt. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's rule number one of on my Discord is, don't be a shit cunt. And, uh, yeah, you know, apart from other illegal shit, don't fucking do that. But, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, I'd hope. Um, so yeah, uh, Freelancer, good sign if you want to get shit modelled for really cheap and underpay Indians. I can recommend this. (laughs) Oh, man. I went to the, uh, went to the gym. Well, I go to gym fucking every day, uh, at this point, every night. I went to, my gym has a, uh, both a sauna and a steam room, which is fucking amazing. It's really nice to, like, go into them, like, after a workout and stuff, a couple times a week, and it really rejuvenates you and makes your skin feel nice and, nice and soft and all that sort of shit. But, uh, the steam room's really nice because it's almost like 
overwhelming. But the first time my mate and I went into it, it was nice because we went in, we pushed the button, and then it sprayed out in like stages. Like it sprayed for, well, put out steam for like 10 seconds, like four or five times uh, while we were sitting there for like 10 minutes or so. And uh, because we were, you know, we went in there before there was no steam, we built up the tolerance to it. So by the, by the time it was really hot, there's was kind of nothing to us. It's like the analogy of uh, boiling a frog. You could boil a frog alive if you incrementally raise the heat of it. So if you put it in there with it just a little warm and then raise it every so often, you could basically boil it alive without the frog even fucking realizing. Basically, <laughs> that's what we did with the steam room. Which is nice, until the next night, I went in, and it was spurting steam the entire time, and I went in the room, and I got my fucking breath taken away from me. Like, I almost got fucking winded. It was so hot, dude. It was unbearable, and I couldn't fucking turn it off, and I'm like, well, rip. And then the next night, it just wouldn't fucking turn on at all, so I'm like, well, rip to that. So I went into the sauna the next night, because I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I really want to go in the steam room. Just feel some heat. And uh, the way the sauna works and the steam room works at my gym is that they're only supposed to be available during staffed hours, which uh, for my gym is from 5am till 9pm. So I usually go to gym about 7.30 to like 8.30 or so. And so I finished off my shit and uh, I go in there at like 8.45 or so because um, I'm like, oh, I want to preemptively get in there before they like shut everything down and everything. Um, so I get in there, no one's in there, I'm like, fucking beauty. So I sit down in the sauna, and I'm just chilling there for all about, like, eight minutes or so. I'm like, ah, oh, this is really fucking nice. Throw in a bit more steam on the rocks, and then another dude comes in, have a bit of a chat for a while, uh, you know, about gyms and how cool this fucking gym is, because it shits on literally every other gym that, uh, most people have been to, because it's the biggest one in Australia, uh, for this brand, uh, that I'm not gonna say, because <laughs> you could fucking dox me. Probably. So yeah, having a bit of a mad chat in there, you know. And then he's like, oh, I fucking, uh, the, oh shit, hold on, I think someone's at the door, give me one second. Oh, sorry about that guys, I just had the courier come to my door delivering me a package. <laughs> now what the fuck was I talking about? Um, oh yeah, the, the fucking sauna, oh, well, <laughs> so the courier as well, um, Apparently it was some different fucking courier uh, than I usually use. It was something called like a blue, and it was like some fucking 15 year old girl, and she's just like, I have a package, and I'm like, yep, I can see. <laughs> like usually they say like, oh, I've got a package for like a nun here, but it's like, hello, I have package, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I can see. <laughs> so, um, and then she got me to sign her phone with like my finger, and I'm like, okay. And uh, it's just, like, some random dude in, like, a four-wheel drive. And so I'm like, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, that was weird. Immediately fucking off topic again. So, yeah, like, the sauna. Um, having a bit of a chat with the dude. And uh, the the worker. Worker? The person that, like, works at the gym. Uh, the staff. That's the word I was looking for. Staff, like, opens the door. And she's like, oh, sorry. Uh, we'll close it up in, like, five to ten minutes. And I'm like, and we're like, yep, cool, sweet. And then the dude turns to me and goes, oh, you want to go fucking hard for the last five minutes? And I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever. So I pour, like, three or four, like, uh, bowls of water. Or, like, spoons of water that they had, like, onto the rocks in the sauna. And I just get, like, blasted with, like, this, like, heat of the steam on my face. And I'm like, whoa, Jesus. And already, like, my feet and, like, I'm leaving an imprint of, like, my entire body at this point on, like, the wood in the sauna. And I'm, like, sweating through my fucking, like, everything at this point. And uh, we're there for probably, like, f three to four minutes. And then another dude comes in. And <laughs> we chat for, like, another five or six minutes or so. And, like, you're like, oh, what do you do? And then, like, this, this fucking awkward thing. I'm just, like, trying to explain what I do. Just said I work. I'm, I'm trying to get into the film industry. Didn't really feel like trying to explain my YouTube channel. Because that's always a fucking thing. <laughs> um... So yeah, we were there for a while, and like, fucking, I looked at the heater, and it said it was, like, 75 degrees Celsius, which is fucking hot, cunt. <laughs> I can tell you that. It was so fucking hot that I touched my hair, 
and I almost like burnt my hand. Like it was so fucking hot that uh, my hair was just like felt like it was on fire. And uh, I'm like, oh, because usually I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go in there for ten minutes, and then just immediately got distracted with people that fucking came in here. And the other dude is like, oh, fucking, you want to go hard for the last five minutes? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And I just got fucked. And so, I could feel myself starting to sway in the fucking sauna. Because I'm like, oh, Jesus, it's so fucking hot. Why am I staying in here? Why am I doing this? And there's like a pool around, like, the fucking sauna of where I'm sitting at this point. And then I'm like, oh, all right, boys, I fucking, I gotta go. I'm melted in the chair. You know, say goodbye to them, fucking get their names. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know who the fuck thought this was a good idea, but... Outside the room of the sauna, there is fucking air conditioning. So, immediately, I'm going from 75 degrees Celsius to probably about 20 degrees Celsius, which is a massive fucking jump. And immediately, I'm like, <gasps> oh, Jesus! Like, with that fucking goddamn room, room temperature change. And then I'm like shivering at the same time because my body's like what the fuck is happening what the fuck is happening and then i'm walking down to my locker where all my shit is and i can like i'm fucking like snake walking uh to, <laughs> to the fucking goddamn lockers and like i almost fucking fainted because <laughs> my body was just in so much shock going from the two completely different ends of the spectrum of like temperature and i started to sit down for like a good five to ten minutes or so and, like, regain, like, compost, composture? Composure? I think composure is the right word. And then just go and scull some water for a bit, and then sit down, and then drive home so I don't fucking make sure I don't die when I drive home. But yeah, that was kind of, like, my fucking story of, like, almost fucking dying in the sauna. <laughs> but, um, along the same lines of the gym, um... I talk about the gym a lot, now that I'm fucking burning, I'm like, ah, whatever. It fucking... Uh, who cares, I fucking, I go there every day, of course I'm going to talk about it, what's shit happening. Um, I don't know about you guys or anything, but I've been out of school for probably about, f for three years at this point. Um, and the gym that I go to is also right opposite where I went to high school. And so naturally, people that live in that area still, uh, are going to go to that gym, because, you know, it's the fucking biggest one. And so I'm in, like, a really awkward, weird crossroads, where... I see people from my uh, graduating grade at the gym, but I wasn't really friends with them, and so I don't know if I should go up to them and be like, hello, person that uh, I know from school, Don't didn't talk to you, but hello. <laughs> Cause it, like, every time it's just, and there's probably been probably about eight or nine at this fucking point. And it's always just been that awkward, just, like, eye contact, just like, yep, I know you exist. <laughs> and it's, but it's just, like, some of them are, like, oh, obviously you've been going to the gym for a while. Like, fucking one cunt's benching, like, probably about 100 kilos at this fucking point. And he's shorter than me, and I'm 5'8". So he's, like, an actual manlet, but he's fucking benching and deadlifting, like, a fuck ton more than me. Because he's just, like, a gym junkie. And a PT, I think, at this point. But, um, you know... Obviously, like, some of the girls that I went to school with, too, you know. A bit of cardio bunnies, whatever the fuck. Um, yeah, just, it's just, like, especially, like, some of, like, the girls that I went to high school with. It's just, like, <laughs> just, even just approaching just, like, anyone else at a gym. It's just, like, supposed to be, like, a no-no. Like, even, like, it just approaching, like, a girl at a gym is supposed to be just like, yeah, don't do it, dude. And it's pretty fucking weird. <laughs> and, oh. And so even just, like, approaching, uh, like, a person that that you know from school but you didn't talk to, it's just like, I mean, all you're going to do is just be like, hello, haven't seen you since school. What are you doing with yourself? Oh, you're still at uni. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what the fucking the conversation's gonna be. And then it's just gonna be me trying to awkwardly fucking explain what the fuck I'm doing with myself. Which is so fucking annoying at this point as well, which I'm gonna go off on a fucking tangent about. Trying to explain my fucking job. Like, most people, they have, if you've got a fucking desk job, you, you could say, like, oh, you know, I'm fucking, I'm working in an office. And they're like, oh, okay, fair enough, doing that sort of shit. But I'm self employed. I make money through making 
3D printing replica props and selling them on eBay, and then also freelancing in the film industry, and then also making money off uploading videos to this fucking channel. <laughs> Trying to explain that to someone. Like, it's just like, oh, I'm self-employed. They're like, oh, wow, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, uh, I make replica props and I sell them. And then I also do stuff in the film industry. And then I also have a YouTube channel. And then they're always just like, oh, what's the YouTube channel? And then I always just have to be like, this. And then they're like, what is it? And then I'm like, oh, fucking here we go. And so, <laughs> trying to like awkwardly explain, and like the best thing I can do is like, I read 4chan stories. I don't know why people watch it either, but it's popular. <laughs> And it's just annoying, and I, I don't know what to fucking say at this point. Because I remember ages ago, um, or even just, like, lie. I don't know, because I, I know, like, I totally ripped off this podcast ages ago from, like, Lewis Spears, and he's half the reason why I started making this podcast anyway. But uh, he did, he was saying this podcast ages ago when he was in, like, an Uber and whatever the hell, and people ask him what he does for work. He just lies and just says, like, desk job or some shit like that, because he, he doesn't want to explain that. He's a stand-up comedian, because then every time when you say you're a comedian, the next immediate question is, oh, can you tell us a joke? Which is not what a fucking stand-up comedian is, cunt. They don't fucking sell jokes, you retard. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry, just covered right into the mic there. So yeah, I don't know if I should just like straight up lie, because I mean it is kind of an interesting talking point, but at the same time it is fucking annoying for retards that don't know what it means, and even like especially getting my fucking tax done, which I just it's still a whole thing that I need to fucking figure out because I'm self-employed and don't have anyone to do it for me. Um, trying to explain to a fucking tax person like, yeah, so I do this and I make money off it, and they'd be like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> you get paid from America? You get paid in US dollars to upload videos and you read stories? What? <laughs> yeah, it's a whole fucking thing that I just I don't know if I want to fucking go down. <laughs> um, I was going to do some fucking research for this, but I totally forgot because I got shit to do today. I've got to fucking plan my nap for, ten for this afternoon before I go because I'm not going to fucking last till 3 a.m. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but... As of Sunday, uh, last week, Australia has banned in grocery stores, I think now, uh, the use of disposable plastic bags. Um, I don't, I don't know if they have that in America now, at this point. Um, but, I know some other countries do it, I can't remember what the fuck they were. Um, oh, what the fuck is this? Yeah, so, um, <laughs> it's, it's... It's good for the environment, but also at the same time, you realize that, um, I watched a video explaining, like, plastic in the oceans, uh, from the YouTube channel, uh, Kutzkazad, or, in a nutshell. And basically, they're explaining, like, that, oh, fucking, I need to look up this goddamn, like, percentage now, because it's just insane. Um, plastic dump Indian China. Like, China... And India um, have the biggest percentage in the world by like a retarded margin. Uh, percent. Ah, oh, dump China ocean. Oh yeah, here it fucking is. Uh, China produces about a third of plastic waste polluting the oceans. Just fucking China. Uh, I can't remember what the fuck India was. Like, I'm not gonna look the video up, obviously. Uh, let's see. Um. Asia, da da. Trash keepers can't keep up. Yeah, I fucking know that. Yeah, well, even like at <laughs> that fucking point. I think, well, China's obviously got the biggest amount of people, so obviously. And then I think it's India or Russia. Only maybe Russia, just because of the sheer size of it. But basically, when you look at Australia, when you're like, we're going to get rid of plastic bags, because we'll do our fucking thing. 
and then you realize that over a third of plastic pollution is just from fucking China, and then we maybe might be contributing maybe 2 or 3% to that, because we're only a fucking country of 25 million people, cunt. And it's just like, cool. Uh, sure, I think that might do a thing in our maybe our immediate oceans that surround us. But if you want to clean up the percentage of the global plastic pollution, you have to fucking go to places like India and China and get their fucking shit sorted. Because banning plastic bags in Australia isn't going to fucking do shit for the... For the uh, for the global, like, lookout of, like, plastic pollution, as I literally just said. And it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I've been inconvenienced so many times, and this is, like, ultra-fucking first-person world, first-person, first-world problem. Um, I shop at Coles, usually. And, like, usually I buy, like, three or four things, but enough to be, like, it's awkward to carry them. So, yeah, I'll just fucking get a plastic bag and bring it home. But, um... Now that they're gone, I usually have to bring in, like, one of the reusable, like, uh, fabric bags now at this point. And I don't want to fucking carry it around while I'm going around the shopping centre. Like, usually I'm, like, uh, grabbing some other stuff and whatever the fuck, and, uh, don't want to carry a, a, another bag around with me. And so I fucking put my reusable bag in my pocket, and I'm going to fucking Coles, and I buy my shit, like, three or four things, and I go to pull out my fucking bag... And it's fucking falling out of my goddamn pocket. And I'm like, I want to fucking... I, I tried. <laughs> I just made more fucking pollution. Because I fucking dropped my reusable bag. Because it's too fucking big to fit in my fucking pocket. Fucking hell, cunt. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. So I just had to buy like one of the dollar fifty fucking bags that they have there. Which, whoa, fifty! wow, fucking spending so much. Um, I don't know, well, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Um, but yeah, it's, it's mostly just like, the fact that I have to buy it now, it's just like, okay, cool. Whatever you tell yourself to make you feel better, I guess. Even though we're not going to be able to fucking do anything. Go to the fucking countries that have the most amount of people, cunt. I mean, sure. <laughs> Um, so, I suppose we'll just get into the most autistic part of this podcast, and that is, of course, where I take questions from you cunts. So, if you want to send any questions, life advice, or any other fucking topics, or anything of that sort, you can either comment on the commu uh, community tab, <laughs> that will go up inevitably sometime uh, next week, or you can email me at mrgreentext at gmail.com. Uh, it's Mr. Green Text with an S on the end of that. Um, so, didn't get any emails this week again, so, you know, if you want to, any bigger sort of life advice, whatever the fuck else, uh, you can do that. Um, I had one dude fucking just say, like, ten things, so I'm going to ignore the rule, because fuck you. <laughs> so, first question is from Fred2234... 791, and he says, what is your stance on holidays, as in the ones you like versus the ones you don't, or you just don't see them as point, or you just see them as pointless? <coughs> um, I don't know. Definitely, holidays are nice for, like, the working class people, because it's just like, oh, fuck, I get a day off. Like, we get a day off for the Queen's birthday. Even though the fucking Queen's birthday holiday isn't on the Queen's birthday, we get, I think we get like two Queen's birthdays a year, which is, again, makes no fucking sense, and that's the whole fucking rambling thing on itself, which I'm not gonna get into. But, for working class, it's just like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, I got a day off work. But for a cunt that like, works from home and everything, it just means that when I go to the shops, shit's just fucking closed. And I'm like, cool, <laughs> just inconveniences me. But, um, you know, Christmas is cool. I guess, because, you know, you get shit, and birthdays are pretty cool. I don't know if you consider birthdays a holiday. But, you know, you know, main ones like fucking Christmas and Easter, because you, cause you get shit. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, I think it's just fucking weird. That's just one of those consumerist fucking things where you're like, go buy the stuff for St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day. I mean, 
Is that a public holiday? I don't think it's a holiday. I don't know. What would you call, like... Because I know it's St. Patrick's Day. We get a fucking day off for, I think. We don't get one for Valentine's Day, I think. What would you consider Valentine's Day, then, if it's not a holiday? Huh. I don't know. But, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Valentine's Day fucking never really had a thing or Valentine do spend it with. So, <laughs> it's my opinion of that. I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I guess they have their place in society, I guess. There's just some that is fucking dumb. Uh, like Labor Day, it's just like, ah, I want a day off at least, but I can't find a fucking holiday. So that'll fucking do. <laughs> uh, good old Lich Zim the Great uh, says, Thoughts on the death of Bushbean's dog? Yes, it seriously happened, we lost another legend. So, I don't know who that is, so off to Google we go. Bush. Bean dog. I'm gonna assume it's like a Gabe the dog that died ages ago. Bush's baked bean dog dies. Who the fuck? Let's click on that link. From people. Uh, those Bush baked bean commercials will never be the same. What the fuck is Bush baked beans? Oh, okay. Pfft. I don't. F I've never seen the commercial, dude. We don't have that fucking brand here. It's an American brand. I don't know. It's a golden retriever. Golden retriever is probably my favorite breed of dog. That's pretty sad, I guess. I guess Gabe was more of a uh, a loss for people because he's much more of a worldwide like. I don't know if phenomenon's the right word. Legend, I guess, is more uh, fitting for him. Because uh, he's a, a whole meme. I thought it was going to be one of those meme -y sort of dogs, but, you know, it's just a dog that was in a bunch of commercials. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> sad, I guess. <laughs> uh, Quantum Saber Nope says, Why don't you do 30-minute stories anymore? Um, mostly because there isn't really 30-minute stories anymore. Um, I'm going to take a bottle in the middle of this fucking question. Yeah, I'm getting to a point where I'm struggling struggling a little bit to find longer stories. Because uh, I'm doing two a week at this point. And uh, I'm trying to sort of spread it out with like spooky stories and other retard stories and other shit like feels stories too. But there's a lot more feels stories that are almost exactly the fucking same thing than there are just actually good like longer stories. Um, the... Yeah, that's just the long of the short of it. It's just like, there isn't really many, or if any, like 30 minute longer stories that I haven't already fucking done at this point. Uh, Eduardo Ramirez, I think I nailed that, uh, says, What is your opinion on Aussie gun control laws? I, for one, would like to see... Str I guess he went to type Australia, but he fucked it, and it just says, Australia? Australia? Uh, return to its former glory. Australia is S T R A S T R A Y A. I I can't I can't spell without looking at it, but I think that's I think that's it. Um. So <sighs> I don't like talking about gun control particularly too much. Uh, well, I guess it's in my own country, so who fucking cares? <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't mind it here. The only thing that's kind of fucking annoying is uh, just the replica gun gun laws and that sort of stuff. It's a little bit annoying sometimes. Like, airsoft is illegal as, as well here. Because um, it could just be con considered imitation firearms. And uh, I think, like I mentioned in my uh, the other thing that I do video, I go into a lot more detail about uh, how each, each state has varying their own varying like laws on uh, replica guns and imitation firearms and what they classify as either imitation or replica or whatever the fuck. Um, so in that sense, it's kind of a little bit annoying sometimes because uh, there have been people like with gel ball blasters. They're in that weird gray area uh, where they shoot little gel balls. Um, but it just depends on which person you have that's looking through uh, at the border. Whether it's just like, this looks like a gun, you're not getting it through, and it just gets fucking burned and destroyed. And you get a seizure notice. 
And so it's just like, well, fucking rip. <laughs> but otherwise, I think it's fine. I don't know. It's always kind of scary to me to see, like, even those people in America that, uh, like, flex their gun laws, that, like, have an open carry and that sort of stuff, and then openly carry, like, a like a pistol or whatever the fuck. Or, like, those, uh, like, nut jobs that are, like, my freedoms! So they just carry around, like, an AR on their back. Like, I know there's a couple, uh, like, protesters that they all ride their bikes together and carry, like, AR-15s on their back. And people are like, what are you doing? It's like, my rights! And I'm like, okay. So, I'm glad that that doesn't fucking happen. If you fucking, if you walked out with a, even, like, a, a replica gun at this point that does not have an orange, well, even if it probably does have an orange tip, you're probably gonna get shit on. You're probably gonna get a fucking SWAT team on you, cunt. Because uh, it's just, like, not a thing that happens here at all. Uh, YouTube account 37647P0. Why the fuck is... Okay, whatever. How do you have 102 subs? That's weird. Um, does Australia have its own 4th of July? Um. No? I get. Uh, kind of. I guess the closest thing to 4th of July here would probably be, uh, Australia Day. Um, which is the 26th of January, I believe, so we've already long had it. Um... Definitely a long of us sort of thing. It's uh, I think it marks the uh, Captain Cook coming to Australia. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Australia day date history. I think that's what I want. Uh, da -da -da -da. person. Blah, 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 blah. Australia Day is the first national holiday of Australia. Un unofficially, the historical date has also been. Vicariously named Anniversary Day, Foundation Day. Uh, 26th of January 1988 marks the proclamation of the British sovereignty over the eastern seaboard of Australia. Ah, so yeah, it's basically just been like, fuck you British, we're our own country. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, pretty much the equivalent of just like, 4th of July declaring your independence, or whatever the fuck it is. So yeah, I'd say that's pretty much uh, our own type. Uh, Cloaker Harriet Holwitzer. Holtwitzer, uh, says, I have a question about something, and this may be weird. Have you actually seen any kangaroos in real life in your town? And if so, how close was it? Uh, zoos don't count. Um, so, it depends on where you live. Um, I live in the suburbs, but I have seen plenty of kangaroos around my area. I only fucking ran over a kangaroo, not too long ago, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I've had kangaroos in my backyard before, as much of a fucking stereotype that is. I've had koalas in my backyard before, I've had fucking two meter long fucking pythons in my goddamn gutter. Well, I've, I've, the, I should say, two meter long python skins. Don't know where the fucking python went. <laughs> that's, I think that's even more scary than finding the snake. It's finding the goddamn large fucking skin. It's like, mmm, cool, that fucking thing's out there somewhere. Don't know where it is, but it's out there. Um... But yeah, I mean, yeah, they've been around here. Like, you're obviously not going to see it, like, around a city sort of area. But I live around, like, the suburbs sort of stuff. And, uh, there's, like, a bush kind of near me. So, yeah, there's kangaroos that, like, live around here. Um, but yeah, also, don't run over a kangaroo, because they'll fuck your car. Uh, I didn't run over one, but there was a case a while ago where they're going down along the highway. I fucking, every time, I don't preemptively turn off Facebook. Yeah, it fucks me every time. Um, yeah, they're going down a highway, and then a fucking kangaroo jumped as they were, like, going down the highway. And it went through the windshield and killed the fucking kid that was in the back seat. And, uh, yeah, so they're a lot like cows. You just don't fucking hit them if you can. Uh, I think I'll do one more question. Uh, Pizzle's Life YouTube uh, says, Do you have cheese whiz? Uh, no, we do not. <laughs> It also sounds fucking disgusting, because if I'm not mistaken, let me just go back to Google, again, for like the third time. Cheese Whiz. That's the fucking cheese in a can, isn't it? We can fucking... Cheese Whiz. Spreadable cheese. Cheese Whiz is a processed cheese sauce or spread sold by Kraft Foods. Hmm. I thought, wasn't Cheese Whiz? I thought it came in a can. Oh, it does come in a can too. Easy Cheese. Cheese Whiz. Oh, I guess it comes in both. In a tube and a fucking... Yeah, I don't know. That seems disgusting, to be honest. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I have nothing more to say to that. Then, yeah, no, that sounds fucking rank, to be honest. Um, I guess I'll fucking call it there for this week. Um, oh, yes. So, I think almost at this point now, it's it's all pretty much sorted. My podcast is on all major platforms at this point. So, if you want to listen to this on, I think, any other app at this point, you could probably find it. Just search the Greencast and you'll probably find it. Just look for my little shit poster thing. Because um, it's on Apple Podcasts now, officially. Uh, and uh, most major apps just you just piggyback off the iTunes store. And so, you'll find it now. Um, but if you also want to help out the podcast, the best way you can probably do that is leave me a review, leave me a review on iTunes. Uh, because then... Once people get reviews there, then it moves up the ranks a bit, which that would be the absolute shittest shit post, is getting this fucking shit show of a podcast up on the fucking ranks of, like, uh, even, like, Australia or America or whatever the fuck. So, you know, leave leave a five, leave a five star review, please. Um, you know, leave a funny review if you really want to. Uh, I'd go nuts, I guess. Um... But the secret phrase uh, for this week, uh, every fucking time I do this, I immediately, immediately forget about it to last second. I'm like, that's the thing that I do. I should probably think about that. And then I don't. <laughs> um, ah, whatever. So if you actually made it through this almost hour long podcast, be sure to let me know in the comments by including somewhere in your comment uh, the phrase water bottle. Um, you could be drinking out of a water bottle. Uh, do you have a water bottle? Do you praise the water bottle while you while you listen to the green cast? Do you drink when I drink? Let me know. Do you praise the water bottle? Do you want to start the great religion of the water bottle? Of Mr. Green Duck's drinking from a water bottle? Though I've said water bottle so many that that, that word is almost losing all, all context. Water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. <laughs> Um, yeah, next week's probably going to be another solid potty, and, uh, yeah, it's about really fucking all. Leave a review on iTunes, five stars, make it funny, or whatever the fuck, and, uh, I'll catch you later, cunts. <laughs> <laughs>